Good evening. Good evening. Very nice to be here. I thought I might start this evening with a joke. <laughs> it concerns three men. Uh, an Englishman, a Welshman, and a Pakistani. Yes, weren't expecting that, were you? <laughs> That's my favourite bit of the joke, to be honest. The tension, which is suddenly palpable in the room when I mention the third member <laughs> of that little gathering. I will mention the chap who told me this joke. I didn't know him terribly well. He had already uttered the immortal phrase, some of my best friends are black, which is rarely a sign of an untroubled conscience. <laughs> I did have to point out to him that Labradors don't count. But as it happened... <laughs> as it happened, I think he was in the clear on this one. Anyway, you be the judge. Three men, English, Welsh, Pakistani, these three congregate one morning, innocently enough, in the maternity ward of their local hospital to collect their newborn sons. Uh, the mood is one of joyous anticipation, from which we may reasonably deduce that they are first-time fathers. <laughs> but a note of bitterness there for serial parents. However... This mood, fragile as it is, is shattered prematurely when they are informed by the doctor in charge, or more likely some sort of middle management lackey who is siphoning funds away from frontline services, but <laughs> do that as it may, they are informed that there has been a bit of a mix-up at the hospital and he can no longer say with any certainty whose son is whose. Now, you or I in this situation, I imagine, would probably return home and inform our legal representatives and begin a costly and time-consuming but ultimately profitable suit against this hospital for gross professional misconduct. At the very least, you would demand a DNA test be conducted in order to establish paternity. But this being a joke... <laughs> the three men agree to sort it out between them. The Englishman goes in first, as is his right. According to strict alphabetical order, at the very least, let us say. <laughs> the Englishman goes in first and emerges a moment later with what is quite clearly, even to the medically untrained eye, the Pakistani child. <laughs> Pakistani gentleman says as much, and the Englishman says, well, I'm sorry, mate, but one of those two in there is Welsh, and I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> It's the relief, isn't it? <laughs> if you're honest, when you realise which of your possible prejudices is actually being pandered to on this occasion. <laughs> and your secondary relief when you realise the rest of the room shares your abhorrence of the Welsh. But, uh, <laughs> I am allowed to tell that joke. I have a little Welsh blood in me. Uh, not a great deal, and that transfusion unit is being sued, I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't care what forms I signed, I'd rather have variant CJD. But it's done now, and uh, still walking up. Right? <laughs> but listen, I haven't got long, but I do want to say something about Wales this evening. Clever this bit. Not Wales the country, but rather the large blubbery mammals uh, that live in Wales. Now, what we have... <laughs> that is actually a statistically supported insult. They are the fattest in the region, but... But I'm afraid the UK is now the fattest country in Europe, and this is nothing to be proud of. We used to have moral superiority over America on this basis and very little else, and it's, we're drifting. <laughs> I'm just saying, as a society, I don't think it's wise as a society that we now reward excessive levels of corpulence with subsidised transport. And I'm not talking about a bus pass. I'm talking about these three-wheeled electrical obesicles. I don't know if you've seen these things. Uh, <laughs> Designed for the elderly and infirm. Nobody would quarrel with that. They have been hijacked recently. Not literally, I hope. My God, that would be a long-winded and boring crime to watch unfold, wouldn't it? But no. <laughs> they have been hijacked by the, by the overweight. And they, 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 these, well, the first one I saw, I thought he was hovering. He was so vast. <laughs> I thought, no wonder you've put on a few pounds. You've mastered the art of levitation. You're not going <laughs> to burn off many calories that way. Then I saw a wire basket glinting between the thighs. I <laughs> if they must have subsidised transport, I recommend space hoppers. For the very simple reason. <laughs> well, you immediately see the sense. It's, they're more affordable, they will burn off a few calories, and it would give us all a bit of a laugh, which is no bad thing. <laughs> they could even paint their own faces on the front so they know who's whose. <laughs> And they come out of Greg's in the morning. Listen, folks, you've been delightful. Have a great festival. See you soon. <laughs>